uh, I was the first person who has access to HRT before I was uh, 18. Living in Europe as a transgender person can be complicated, especially when you're young. In 2022, there was one of the highest upticks in violence against Europe's LGBTQ plus community in almost a decade, especially for its transgender community. Some EU member states have passed progressive gender legislation, yet others have further restricted access to trans health care for minors. This Pride Month, we at Your News spoke to some of the people trying to make gender affirming care more accessible in the bloc. For Alex, the process was relatively rapid, but it quickly became more difficult for those after him. They just let me do that because I was 17 and 10 months and because my parents were, were very supportive. I just talked to my endocrinologist like a few days ago and she said that they were forced to shut down the system because uh, there wasn't any enough people who would like to work for that. In Ireland, waiting lists can be up to seven years long. I have heard that some young people um, and their parents, out of sheer desperation, are trying to access healthcare um, abroad and uh, access medication abroad and online, but without any medical supervision in our, here in Ireland, which is something that's very dangerous. In Spain, GPs will generally refer young people to a clinic that will help them access the care they want, according to its largest LGBTQ plus org. But it all depends on the region. No es lo mismo ahora mismo ser trans o LGTBI en, en Canarias que, que en Castilla y León. Tienen menos derechos en Castilla y León. Y va a depender de la voluntad de los médicos de que te atiendan, pero no está garantizado por ley. For some, it's not just about access to care, but also about being accepted. For me, I think when my family started to accepting it and they, they call me the right pronouns and they call me by my name, I think it does like half or more of the job. 